Welcome to Digital Asset News to get top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them out of bite-sized pieces. So today we have another episode of Trinity Trading. And as always, we are joined by Alex Mascioli from Trade the Chain. Hello, Alex. Thanks for stopping by. He's going to be doing our uh, sentiment analysis. And if it gets through him, then it goes to our TA gentleman, which is CJ from Market Rebellion. He's going to be looking at the technicals, the charts and everything that I have no idea what he's talking about. And then finally, if it gets through those two, then it comes to me for the fundamental analysis. And we'll see if we can actually make a profitable trade either on the short term or the long term, or maybe potentially both. So gentlemen, let's start our engines, see what we got today for a profitable trade. Alex, starts with you. Sure thing. Uh, and, you know, if you wouldn't mind, Rob, I, I'd like to change up your show a little today. If I could select two of them, because normally <laughs> you, you like to give the option of a short term trade or a medium term trade. I'd like to give you one of each. All right. I will. But that means I got to buy both. So I'm I'm kind of maxed out, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> sure. That's but right. You, you did have that episode that said you're broke. I did. I mean, well, I had to buy this robe too. I got to keep up with CJ, damn it. This is how it works. So here we have uh, my short-term trade. It's Harmony. It's one that uh, needs to be gotten into in, uh, you know, by the time this video is out shortly after, it is pumping on the sentiment. I like the, the first thing I do, first of all, is I go to the one hour projection and I like to see the heavyweight to the top and I like to see the average mean in the middle uh, towards the top as well. Um, we see the total average green bar going very high to the right. Um, also, I, I don't like the relative tweet volume right now, um, but I do like the relative trading volume. Some participants in the order book, that's giving me a bullish feel. I then go to the left. I love the very bullish uh, sentiment score. 82 is good for me. We've had good positive uh, bullish legs a whole month. Um, yeah. We're up 12 and a half percent today. And that is my pick for the short-term trade. It's crazy. So look, so real quick, talk about that, that one hour projected range. There's three numbers there. So what is that? The middle number versus the left versus the right. Absolutely. This is a rolling one hour projection um, that changes every couple of minutes. And so the number to the right is the projected percentage range of the price that it's currently at one hour from now. The one on the left, which is that red 0.95, is the projected lower, lower price uh, from an hour of now. And the middle is the mean average. Okay. That's pretty good. I mean, and that's, that's like, and then as I always talk about, it's 90% assurance or accuracy. So says trade the chain and the, uh, the API integration that it has. Correct. So historically, um, that score is 92.3% accurate uh, for us um, that we project for the one hour. I'll take those odds. Those are better than Vegas. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> All right. My man, CJ, what do you got for the technicals? Yeah, so Alex made a very interesting point um, stating that he wants to trade this very quickly. And so because of that, we're going to look at a shorter term time frame on the uh, charts here. When we look at longer term time frames, like say the daily or the weekly chart, those are uh, you know, time frames that uh, we're going to kind of look for a trade um, for the longer, you know, say a week out or possibly even two to four weeks out. Now, with what Alex just discussed and saying that, what, what was your what was your timing on this trade, Alex? Uh, a couple hours, you'd say? I'm looking for this to be a trade in uh, the couple hour range. Okay, so here we have the one hour chart. And this is a very bullish chart um, looking to continue because if you look at our candles here, um, this is what is known as the sequential indicator. And so typically, we will see candles continue on this sequential indicator until we reach a nine, at which point we will probably correct or at least come down a little bit in the short term. And so an example of that nine, you can see on the one day here, you see we were uh, essentially you know, right here relative to where we were on the, the one hour and then came down after reaching that TD sequential nine, but are now seeing more bullish momentum uh, really carry through on this shorter term time frame. So, you know, what I like uh, is the fact that we're seeing an increasing volume on the one hour chart. We're still strong. We've broken past the previous high here at about eight cents. 
and we're atop that uh, top Bollinger Band. So this is a very bullish parabola that you can see is already forming and starting to pump here as we go, but looking very bullish on the one hour time frame. And I would, uh, I would be in this trade, um, you know, right now, and I'd be looking for kind of resistance not to come in until this other previous high at roughly, let's see where that level is. About 10 cents, but uh, nine, 9.8 cents would be the resistance level that uh, this pump will likely go to. But man, look at this thing. Rob, we're already up 4% since we started talking about it. And we got to shut up. We just got to start buying. <laughs> All right. That sounds pretty good. Well, I'll make the, I'll make the fundamentals then quick so I can squeeze this, this video out as fast as possible. Let me share my screen. What the heck is going on? Because as you were talking, I was looking, I was looking it up. So, okay, 9 cents, 3.6. What is this? I don't know what this is. Uh, okay, strong buy, great. Uh, and then, of course, I just go to the website. Okay, great. Ethereum applications and cross-chain finance. Scaling Ethereum applications. So maybe it's like a... It's, a... it's a great video they have. That's a weird video. <laughs> is a, it's a sharding protocol. Trust is Ethereum bridge. Uh, Solidity, MetaMask. Okay. Let, okay, two second finality. Wow, cross chain Uniswap support. This actually might be something I could actually use to actually. Uh, some, looks like it's like a layer two solution. All right. I mean, looks like they could use that. The big thing is where do we buy it? So over at Trade the Chain, I want to take a look. Where to trade? What was it called? Harmony. 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 <laughs> well, Binance. I don't have access to that in Texas. Or Binance US, still screwed on that one. Huobi, uh, oh, guess what? I just opened KuCoin. You know why I opened KuCoin? So I could buy SwissBorg, it's the only reason. So I'm gonna get this on KuCoin and I'm gonna pick it up and we'll see where it goes. The reason though, here's the big question, the million dollar question. Why is it pumping right now? Some of the best places to find this would be, Harmony, I, don't know if this, I can find this. No, this isn't it. Sometimes, yeah. Usually, every time at the you go to the bottom, you can find where they're going. Let's follow them. Let's see, if they have wow. any news. A lot of users. January thirteenth, ninety-three thousand followers. Holy smokes! Ah, it looks like they're communicating with Reef DeFi. Didn't you invest into that at some point? Not me. No, I was thinking of somebody else. Five could be staking validators. Okay, interesting. All right, the more I talk, the more this is not gonna work out. So let me go over to KuCoin and buy this. So is this our short term or is this our long term one? This is our short term. Okay, so what I need to do, let me put this in here. This is just the exchange fees, everybody knows this. This is what I need, Trinity of Trading. So what's the ticker, anybody? One. That's easy. Whoops. What's the date today? March 18th? 18th. 318. Time, let's call it. 344. Okay. So 15. That would be Eastern. Yeah, Eastern Standard Time, New Yorkers. All right, <laughs> so the call price, we're looking at nine cents. I think it might have been a little bit below there, but uh, we might as well round up to nine. Okay. Oh my God, it's already at nine five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, let's just let's just call it a nine. We're doing pretty good so far. We got to get this video out. Okay. Anything else we want to talk about? Well, I'd love to give you quickly my second one if we have time. Let's. You, we better go do it fast then. All right. So my, my second one real quick is going to be StormX, ticker STMX. A um, couple things real quick. I like the, uh, I don't like the one hour, but I'm not in it for the short term. I'm in it for the, uh, <laughs> keep talking. I'm in it for the daily and long-term sentiment, which are very bullish. Okay. Um, I like the relative tweet volume. I love the relative trading volume. Um, and for me, this is a three to four day 
uh, pop trade right here. And I want to see what CJ has to do. By the way, what um, could you tilt down your camera real quick? We didn't oh, yeah. get it. Yeah, this, I don't know if uh, it's just this, the, the robe. It's, it's itchy. It's a new robe. I don't really know if it's good for me. So anyhow, so <laughs> all jokes aside, all jokes aside, Alex has been calling. <laughs> he's been talking to me about this since uh, Stormax was at a penny, maybe even less. And I'm like, eh, okay, I'll look it up. And he's like, hey, it's a, it's a penny five. And I was at two pennies. Like, I'll get to it. And now here we are, and it's on sentiment. And again, it's one of the things I missed. I need to listen to people smarter than me, which is mostly a lot of people. So I just I say this in jest. CJ, what are the technicals say for this one? So humble, Rob. Yeah, so humble. you gotta be. Um, the cool thing about uh, Stormax, and I think uh, we may see, like, imagine if we saw, uh, okay, well, first I should just back up and say that uh, PayPal bought Honey which is a very similar company uh, to Stormax. You know, they get cash back. Don't do it with crypto. And they're only in about four or five countries. But uh, Stormax is good because it's global. It can be in any country. They didn't even uh, advertise in the Netherlands. And yet they're getting a lot of customers from there because the, the token is global. Um, so if Jack Dorsey were to kind of explore something and, and buy Stormax with Square, uh, man, what a price increase that would bring and hype that would bring. That would, that would be a utopia for, uh, for Alex. But yeah, no for... yeah, Alex, I saw that I saw him leaving one of his condos and he had a big bag at one point. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, all right. So, so what do we have for the, for the tacticals right now? Okay. I, I so... do think this is going to go up pretty, pretty fast. I am long-term bullish on Stormax. The one thing that I see here in which uh, I like to have a little patience is that when we hit these nines after such a parabolic run-up, when the nine is in fact the peak of the trend, typically we'll see at least a day or two of bearish to neutral price action to at least give back some, to give the bulls and the people who bought down here a chance to take profits. And so price probably will come off a little bit uh, from this, I expect kind of a consolidation here around this level before okay. a potential test higher. But from a technical perspective, I am going to be a little bit more patient uh, than Alex on this one. And I'm going to wait for price to consolidate and for this volume to start increasing again. Because right now it does look like we may be at a potential interim top. Gotcha. Uh, apologies, Alex. So no worries. So it's okay. So you're saying to buy it. That's what you're saying? I bought it. No, I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So then, so then for the fundamentals, I saw your interview with the CEO and uh, he was talking about, just like you said about with honey and uh, it's, it's correct me if I'm wrong. It's cash back and cryptocurrency for the things that you actually buy. Is that what it is? Cash back in store max. Yes. Okay. And then did they not just have a partnership with Adidas? Yes, they've they've they're partnered with Nike as well, and uh, seven hundred other stores worldwide. Um, they've got some good partnerships. Oh, okay, I should have listened again. All right then, so let's see where you can buy it. Let me share my screen. And then it's how long has it been around? Since twenty fourteen. Yeah. I, I I don't know why I haven't heard about this before. You know. Let me see. Stormax. This is a pretty cool figure. I like this. Finance, Wazir, Uniswap. No, bit true, hot bit. But it's also on Voyager, right? Yes. Voyager, Voyager can't be listed, everybody, because it is a brokerage. So it connects to multiple, multiple exchanges to give you the best price on the spread. Um, that's how they, you know, make everything. So, okay, this looks like a good one. It's, what do you think? Uh, Long-term hold, four days or more? Yes, that is uh, my period. Okay, so let me put it in. Is that the ticker? STMX. Thank you. Stormy? It's Stormy. <laughs> 50. And was Yeah, I definitely, uh, you know, when you look at things like Voyager token and, and Celsius and Swiss board, you know, you all, you have apps and services that are backing that token that are very nice and, and very well done. And Stormax is no different, you know, uh, Rob, if you don't mind, I'm no, no, just let me steal the, uh, 
screen share from you for a sec. And uh, just, I'm not trying to shill this. I own no Stormax. A lot of my friends own it. Alex owns a ton. But definitely check out the, the app because <laughs> when you buy things, you actually do get 2.5% crypto cash back. And uh, it does help you save, you know? Um, so. No, it does. It, it no. Drop there for a second. <laughs> I say it in jest. Look, I mean, if it's if it actually is is graphically, you know, great for what it is, and it's super simple. That's any any that's what everybody wants to. Have you gone to KuCoin to like to like buy anything? There is a massive difference between a KuCoin and buying things on Voyager. That's all I'll say. So yeah, people want like simplicity. Yeah, for sure. What are you gonna say, Alex? No, I was just gonna say. I mean, um, you know, CJ and I had a great conversation with the CEO Simon. Um, he actually uh, got complaints about high withdrawal fees of STMX uh, off of Voyager um, and Binance. Uh, for, so people were having to pay a lot to get them over to the app in order to stake them. He actually picked up on that, reached out to both Voyager and Binance and got that resolved and had the fees lowered. So StormX users could stake them on the app and keep shopping and buying their Adidas. See, and that's just that's, that's around 18%, if I'm not mistaken, for staking uh, in the app. So very nice. Yeah, there is a there is a fine difference between like shilling some junk project than actually talking about a good project, especially ones with utility. And we talk about with Metcalf's law and the different things. So I'm just gonna put my robe back on. And so just everybody knows it is a good project. And uh, it just it just escaped me like many projects. Anyhow, anything else before we sign off, everybody? Is it for me? Me. All right. Let me pump this out as fast as possible so people can be like, oh, look, now it's 10 cents for Harmony because Rob can't, Rob can't edit quick enough. And that's it. Anyhow, if you like these types of videos, first of all, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. Uh, click the thumbs up. It helps the channel uh, tremendously. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are time sensitive, as obvious as we just talked about in this video. So for all three of us, thanks so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.